السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما يا ارحم الراحمين. We ask Allah عز وجل teach us what benefit us, benefit us from what you taught us and increase us in knowledge. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. My dear beloved respected brothers and sisters, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make me and you from the people who listen and apply. Tonight inshallah ta'ala we will be discussing a topic that is extremely important and that is manhood rujula rijal manhood is a quality that is pursued by people of high ambitions and serious thinking real men are not judged by their beauty or by their the size of their body or by any kind of social status or by their wealth real men are identified by certain characteristics that are mentioned in the book of Allah Al-Quran Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said in the hadith in Bukhari real men are rare or are as rare as reliable strong camel that can endure the burden of long trips you can hardly find one in a hundred subhanallah so real men are as rare as a good camel so from the quran we will find out today seven characteristics of real men and these characteristics are mentioned in many different ayat. First characteristic. وَجَاءَ مِنْ أَقْصَى الْمَدِينَةِ رَجُلٌ يَسْعَى And there came a man running from the farthest end of the city. So the first characteristic is Sa'i. They raced to do good. This man came from a very far place just to inform and warn Musa alayhi salam that they are plotting against him. So the first characteristic of a man, of a real man, is that he rushes to do good. He races to do good. You see someone crossing the street and needs help. You rush to help him. You see somebody leaving the supermarket, an old lady, and needs help with her groceries. You rush to help them. You heard that a brother is having financial hardship. You run to, to help them. You are, Allah blessed you, and you perform your five daily salat on time. And you heard that someone does not. You rush to speak to them and to advise them and to remind them about the importance of Salat. So the first characteristic of a real man is that they race to do good. Yes'a means to walk fast. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used that verb when it came to coming to uh, Salat al-Jum'ah. Second characteristic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, min al-mu'minina rijal. Among the believing male, there are men. So that means not every male is a man. Every man is a male, but not every male is a man. Allah is saying, among the believing male, there are men. What is, what is their characteristic, Ya Allah? صَدَقُوا مَا عَاهَدُوا اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ They are truthful to the covenant that they made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the second characteristic is that real men are truthful. When they give their word, they keep it. They stand by it. And specifically, the, the contract that they made and the vow they made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
the ahd that they made with Allah to obey him and to stay away from what he has prohibited. A real man never lies. He doesn't because people who lie are fearful. They are scared. So if this man, he made a mistake, he admits that I made a mistake. Real men admit to their mistake. The, four, the third characteristic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that the real men are the ones who are pure. They love tahara. They are pure inward and outward. Outside, you look at their appearance, beautiful, clean attire, neat. They always take care of their uh, hygiene. And they also are pure inside. They have no heart diseases. They have no hatred, no malice, no shirk, no hypocrisy, no envy. And everything in their life is pure. Their income is pure from riba. Their income is pure from, from bribes. And it is pure from any kind of haram. These are the real men. So the third is that these men, the real men, are pure inside and outside. The next ayah has four characteristics in one ayah, subhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah An-Nur, رِجَالٌ لَا تُلْهِيهِمْ تِجَارَةٌ وَلَا بَيْعَ The real men, nor commerce, nor sale, no business, no job, distracts them from these four things. So real men, nothing distracts them from number one, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing stop them from remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their tongue is constantly busy with remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as a father, you tell your son, be a doctor, be a, an engineer, be an accountant, be a, a businessman, no problem. But don't ever let that keep you away from these four. And the first one is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Second, iqam is salat. They never miss salat. Real men, they not only do not miss salat, they establish the salat. Iqamat is salat. Iqama means they give the salat its right. They give the wudu its right. They pray on time. They pray with khushu'. They do their best to achieve khushu' in their salat. They do their best to attend the salawat in the masajid. Rijalun la tulhihim tijaratun wa la bay' an dhikrillah wa iqam is salat. If you see a person neglectful of the salat, or no, neglect, uh, neglectful of his salat, that's not a real man. A real man, he kept his promise with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he performs all his salawat on time. Wa ita is zakat. And they are people who do not cheat when it comes to zakat. They fulfill their zakat. They can't wait. They can't wait to pay their zakat in full and they seek the right people who are eligible for zakat. And the last one, وَيَخَافُونَ يَوْمًا تَتَقَلَّبُ فِيهِ الْقُلُوبُ وَالْأَبْصَارِ The real men, they fear. They are constantly thinking about that day, the day of judgment. They are fearing that day where the hearts and the eyes fearfully turn about, subhanAllah. They're always thinking before they make any decision in their life. Is it pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because they are afraid if they do anything wrong to upset Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers and sisters, these are the seven characteristics of manhood from the Quran. Tayyib, briefly, how can I raise my son to be a man? There are some also evidences from the Sunnah that shows us how can we raise our children to be men. Number one, give them a nickname from a young age. 
Abu Fulan, like you know, like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to take, uh, he used to tell uh, Umair, uh, Ya Abu Nughair, you know, because he used to have a small bird, he called him, you are the, as if he's telling him, you are the father of that bird. So give your son a really masculine uh, uh, nickname. Second, relate to them stories of the Sahaba, of uh, victories of Islam, ab uh, about courageous men of the past, uh, Salah al-Din, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. Tell them these stories to look up to these people because all they look up to right now is sports figures and actors and musicians and subhanAllah. Third, teach the children to respect the elders and that develops manhood in a child. You tell them, listen, when every time you see somebody older than you, respect them, speak to them gently, help them. You yourself respect them in public. In public, show others how much you love your son. Praise them in public. Don't ever put your son down in public or even in private. Greet them with salam. Do not say, some people say, oh, the, uh, you want the older one to greet the, the young one? No, 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 it's okay. If, <laughs> subhanAllah, Rasulullah sallallahu when he used to see Fatima coming, he used to sit her, uh, you know, uh, next to him. Allahu Akbar. Greet them with the salam. Be the one who initiate the salam with them. Uh, take their opinion, even though they are young. Baba, what do you think of this? We are thinking of moving here. We are, I'm thinking of buying this car. You like this car or this car? What do you think? Tell me. You know, get their opinion. I'm thinking of uh, 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 going to visit uh, uh, this place. Do you think it's nice? It's worth it to go vacation over there? You know, get his opinion. Let them get be involved. Give them small tasks to fulfill. And then when they finish, reward them. Keep them away from sinful gatherings that have a lot of haram in it. Bring them with you to the masjid. If you are sitting in a halaqa, let them sit with you in the halaqa and listen. Be in the company of the righteous, subhanAllah. These are a few tips, inshallah ta'ala, to make our sons real men. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all our children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the rijal, from the real men that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashad an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Kitabun unzila ilayka fala yakun fi sadrika harajun minhu litun ذِرَبِهِ وَذِكْرَى لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ